Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can join our Facebook groups entitled the same names on Facebook. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. To, uh, today we will talk about the signs of the times. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come to you right now. We rejoice in because you have made this day and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We pray that you will forgive us of all sins, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us on this day. Anoint us to fresh to be used by you. Release salvation, heal and deliverance, signs, wonders, and miracles. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise for the many things you're going to do. Open up our ears here and our spirit to receive the word of God. Release revelation and confirmation of your word. Holy Spirit, help us to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Signs of the times. Matthew 24 and 5 through 8 says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumor of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom arise, uh, against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All things are the beginning of sorrows. An increase in false messiahs and an increase in warfare, increases in famines, plagues, and natural disasters. These are signs of the end times. And I want to say that the pandemic is what God allowed. Amen. And some of you are experiencing so much. I know there's been uh, floods uh, that's been going on um, and we certainly are praying for those uh, floods and hurricane seasons and also in this in this time uh, whatever time whether it's a flood snow blizzard uh, tornadoes hurricanes we're praying for you in this passage though we are given a warning we are not to be deceived because these events are only the beginning of birth pains the end is still to come some interpreters point that every earthquake every political up uphill uh, of veil and every attack on israel as sh a sure sign that the end times are rapidly approaching while the events may signal the approach of the last days there are not necessarily indicators that the end times has arrived. The Apostle Paul warned that the last days would bring a marked increase in fake teaching. First Timothy 4 and 1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving them to the seductive spirits and doctors of devils. The last days are described as per perilous times because of the increasing good evil character of many people who actively oppose the truth. First Timothy, I mean, excuse me, Second Timothy 3, 1 through 9 says, Not This know also, in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetousness, boasters, proudest, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, uh, fears, displeasures of, uh, the, the despises of those that are good. That means those that are doing good they're trying to tear them down traitors heady heady means they think they all they know they're all in a bag of chips and a bean deal high-minded lovers of pleasures high-minded they so high-minded that they can't even smell their own butt forgive me if i say a butt 
uh, pleasures of love are more than lovers of God. That's idolatry too. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. That's legalism. Therefore, which creep is into the house and lead captivity, silly women laid with sin, led away with diverse lust. That means not just lusting after a woman, lusting after a dog. You can lust after a TV too. And some people are lusting after animals and trees and, and even houses. My God, and the electronic devices. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as James and Jabonis without withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, they got a dirty mind, reprobate, reprobate, meaning they think whatever is good is bad and bad is good. Concerning the concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be mani shall be manifest unto all men, as their as theirs also was. Second Thessalonians two and three says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that th that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, that men of sin can be revealed." And the son of perdition. Other possible signs would include a rebuilding of the Jewish of a Jewish temple in Jerusalem, increased hostility towards Israel, and advance towards a one world government. Have you ever heard what the one new one new world? We got to be careful and start praying to ask God to have mercy and to take over. The most prominent sign of the end times, however, is the nation of Israel. In 1948, Israel was recognized as a sovereign state, especially for the first time since 70 AD. God promised Abraham that his posterity, his people, his kin, would have Cana as an everlasting possession. Genesis 17 and 8 says, And I will give unto thee, to the thy seed after thee, the land where when thou art a stranger, all the land of Cana, for an everlasting possession, I will be their God. Ezekiel prophesied a physical and spiritual recon re selection of Israel having Israel as a nation on its own land is important in light in times prophecy becomes Israel's bugle in eschatology Daniel 10 and 14 says now I am come to make these un understand what shall befall thy people in the later days? For yet the vision is many days. Daniel 11 and 41 says, And in these times there shall, be, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision but they shall fall revelations 11 and 8 says and their dead bodies shall be lying in the streets of the great city which spiritually called sodom and egypt where also our lord was crucified with these signs in mind, we can be wise and discerning in regarding the expectations of the end times. We should not, however, interpret any of these singular events as a clear indication of the soon arrival of the end times. Revelations 22 and 20 says, He which testified these things saith, Surely, I come quickly. Amen. Even so, 
Come, Lord Jesus. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really mean to say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. God himself raised Jesus from the dead. I open up the door and let him into my heart and into my life. I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church so I can work in your vineyard. Fill me with the Holy Spirit so I can be a witness in the earth and have power over the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is erased off the corners of hell and pinned into the Lamb's Book of Life. Start reading the book of Psalms of Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live and Psalms will teach you how to pray. Worship and praise. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by Cash App at dollar sign Felicia Claiborne. Or you can mail a check or money order. Make a payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on our Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry Facebook pages to get the address to mail your seat. Or you can email us at Healing Wings I N T L Ministry at gmail.com your offerings will go to further the kingdom of god this was brought to you by the partners prayer warriors and supporters of healing wings international ministry keep hope alive and remember there is hope be blessed